the Israeli regime of military occupation, settler colonialism and apartheid was deeply allied with the apartheid regime in South Africa. The two regimes of apartheid were born the same year. Initially, the relationship is very hostile. Apartheid's leaders, the National Party leaders, the Afrikaners, were deeply anti-Semitic. What you see change is after the 1967 war. Once Israel begins the occupation of the West Bank, once you see newly independent African states move away from Israel, you start to see an alliance build up between Israel and apartheid South Africa. They both see themselves as besieged, militarily besieged. And that is where the relationship, which had become increasingly friendly, starts to become quite intimate. You have the astonishing sight of a, a white South African prime minister who'd been interned as a Nazi sympathizer visiting Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Memorial, that's the point at which you can see that this relationship has become close enough that history is forgotten. South Africa was looking for somebody that was in the same boat, basically, in some ways, and was happy to play that up. Israel was embarrassed by it. Many years later, I got to ask Shimon Peres, when he was president of all Israel, about that letter and about that relationship, and he got, he just dismissed it. Israel's position, like that of the US and UK is to then say, well, of course, we were on the side of the ANC and Mandela and against apartheid all along. And there's a quick rewriting of history. You know, the Palestinian cause was the ANC's cause. So clearly that relationship between Israel and the post-apartheid government was never going to be as intimate and, and is not as intimate. The position taken by the South African government has improved uh, rather significantly lately with the president of South Africa saying that Israel is acting like an apartheid regime, it's an apartheid type. Going the next step of imposing sanctions on apartheid Israel, as was done against apartheid South Africa, is not there yet. And South Africa plays a very important role in its moral weight. We need more pressure.